What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com vibes it up in the kitchen. Just got in from outside. Way sap, place hot, real hot, stinging, skin burning, kind of hot. Weekend around the corner tomorrow, Saturday. I thought I'd share something with you guys. It's hot weather, it's summertime, people looking for some nice, cool, refreshing beverages. This one here I grew up with drinking in the Caribbean. Now, this was the one I grew up drinking, non alcoholic. Mom, we don't want us anywhere around alcohol and stuff like that. To this day, I really, I'm not big into alcohol, to be honest with you. But Shandy, here, yeah, man, I love that thing too bad. Now, this one here is the adult version. If you're doing the non adult version, you know, the, the ones for the kids, you could probably get away with using ginger ale instead of the beer but in today's episode summertime weekend shandy refreshing for days man vibes it up i thought since it's summertime and it's really warm outside fitting with the drink it is nice and hot and sunny a wonderful day here in canada so i thought i'd bring you guys outside see that bright sun there it is very hot it can't get very hot in canada for anyone who thinks Canada is constantly cold, but today we're going to need some ginger, and that is what I have here, uh, frozen lemonade, lemon, and beer. Now, since we are outside, I do apologize for the lack of good volume. I'm not sure if you're hearing me properly or not, as well as any sort of dogs barking or people or kids are off school, so the kids could be playing. But I have here a container that I'm going to be serving my shandy in. And the very first thing we need to do, and I like doing it first, is to go in with some slices of lemon. Because as I pour the beer in there, it's going to start to give it a nice fragrance to the beer. So in goes some lemon slices. And now, typical shandy doesn't require this. But I grew up in the Caribbean where the shandy had a sort of a, a ginger kick to it. So rather than grate in the ginger, what I like doing is slicing it thin. So I'm just going to go in with a few slices of ginger. And the reason why I like doing this is that you can spot the big pieces of ginger. So it's not going to be part of or bother you when you're drinking. Next up, we're going to need about three beers. I like using beer that I like drinking. Yo, you know what? I'm not going to open that one. I shook it up quite a bit there, but I've got some Stella Trois. Any of your favorite beer would be ideal. And I'm just gonna try and twist this down and let that beer flow in there without building too much of a head. We don't want it too frothy, you know. And and with this recipe, you can get away with uh, even four bottles of beer. So maybe that's what I'll do. Just pouring in my last beer here. And you can double up on the recipe. I kind of misinterpreted how big this container is. I really didn't think it was that big. But believe it or not, there are four bottles of beer in there. Three large cans will work as well. The final ingredient to go in there is some lemonade. Um, I really support in this brand, but this is what was on sale. And it is a pink lemonade, you can use whatever lemonade. And this is just the frozen concentrate of lemon lemonade. And I'm just gonna pour that in there. It's already sweetened. It's for the most part it's already poured out. Final step now. Go in with your sort of a, a wooden stick or a swizzle stick or something and bring it all together. Try to use cold beer and cold that frozen lemonade because we really don't want to ice this down too much you can put it in the fridge now and allow it to um to chill a bit but that is it you've just made yourself a wicked summertime drink there cold shandy with that you know that little flavor from the lemons and the ginger and your favorite beer you know man this thing here quenching toast the entire summer as a matter of fact i may double up on this recipe and take it over to my cousin's house for a swim. Always good when you um you show up with drinks, you know. People love you for that. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Remember to hit that video the thumbs up. If you'd like to see something done on CaribbeanPod.com, please leave me a message below. And speaking about message below, leave me a comment. I usually I try my best to answer comments the first 24 hours after the video goes live. 
Have a great summer, guys. Thank <laughs> you.